What's the crack lads? Welcome back to your Thursday roundup. We have got everything new today. We're going to cover everything. There's a couple of interesting stuff or interesting things that have been added back to the game and of course the new stuff as well. So we will start with the downloads campaign. This is the brand new campaign that's kicking off today. We also have 50% off the match pass from the 9th of May to the 6th of June. We'll get into that in a second. You also have your free Inter Milan players that we talked about yesterday. Messi, big time, make a return. I was wondering why Messi was beasting over the last couple of days. Um, now we know because of the re-release of the pack. J-League monthly MVPs as well. And of course, we also have our player of the week and our European player of the week. So this is the brand new 750 million download celebration. We get a new trailer here as well for Inter Milan. We are winning the Serie A. And of course, we also get a couple of other bits and pieces, especially for login bonuses. We'll get into that in a second. So as far as I know, you're going to be getting three of the five players here. We also have the return of big time Messi. These cards, I mean, stat-wise, this is probably the best card in the game. I mean, it's phenomenal. We've been beasting with Messi lately. Uh, he kind of went through a case of being nerfed, you know, and being really, really good. I obviously have all of these players, so we'll be able to test these out again today for you guys and show you the best builds, the best updated builds, the best everything with these cards. I mean, these are really, really good cards. But if you have other versions of Messi... I definitely think there's a conversation to be had there about it. The MVP players from the J-League, usually there's a couple of hidden gems in here, but I do feel like that because you have to kind of build your team around that 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 kind of like uh, those players, it can be more difficult to get them included. But we'll have a look at them in a second, and of course we will do Player of the Week and European Player of the Week reviews as well. So, lads, I'm, I'm definitely interested to know your thoughts on this stuff. We will have news as well on a future update. We'll get into that in a second. We'll just let this trailer play out. But I do feel like that a lot of the stuff that's going to be coming now to the game, it's not going to make a massive change in terms of content or in terms of gameplay until the next big update. And even at that, even failing that, I do definitely think that it's going to be a case of the next big update, not just the season six or season seven transition with the new campaign. I think it's going to be to eFootball 2025. And I know it's early in the year. But you guys have to understand as well that we are going to be getting the Euros content that you would imagine that will come very, very soon when that competition kicks off. So we are going to get our login bonus as normal. We also get our 750 million downloads campaign. So the game is doing very, very well. I mean, on a, on a scale um, that we haven't seen before. 750 million downloads across every device and platform. You know, you're talking Steam, you're talking Xbox, PS5, and of course mobile, which is the huge one. That continues to grow rapidly so you're getting your campaign rewards you also get your free Lewandowski for the campaign as well as a free Inter Milan victory campaign one as well so there's a lot there now we have talked about a couple of issues there are a couple of things here that they're looking at these are just you know small things that aren't too important but we do have our next big update planned which is v4.0 now one thing I will say is I definitely do think that we're going to get an update before v4.0. Um, the reason why I think that is because usually what they like to do is they like to kind of set it up content-wise first. So we might get another uh, v, you know, uh, 3.6, v3.7, v3.8, v3.9, and then v v4. Because that says autumn 2024. We're back to the kind of windows again that we know that we're going to be getting the next big update. I reckon that will probably turn into eFootball 2025. It's probably the first confirmation that we're going to be getting that in autumn, which is, you know, standard when you comes when it comes to PES games being released or eFootball games being released. Um, we also do have the Inter Milan winner there as well. But other than that, lads, there isn't really anything new added to the game. I know everybody asks me every week, is the free progression back? It's not. And I don't think it's going to come back I mean, I don't know why it's not coming back, but I don't think it's going to come back until there's a there's a big uh, gameplay update. I know at the moment the gameplay has changed quite a bit, but it's been more the AI that has changed rather than the actual gameplay, if that makes sense. Um, I know the AI affects the gameplay, but that's basically why that is. In terms of the matches here and the events and all that, you have this event here where you can earn other Inter Milan players. Team Play Fun is back, co-op. You've got the European Club 750 million campaign. That's going to be online with your coins and your trainers. Your Japanese club is going to be your coins and your trainers. The Unlimited is still ongoing. And then versus the AI, we actually have a Legend English League Challenge, which I think could be fun. 
Um, obviously, playing against a legend and superstar is always a bit of crack if you like playing offline. You've got the European clubs for your trainers, and you've got the Inter Milan for the Inter Milan bonus players that we'll have a look at here in a second. Japanese clubs is ongoing as well for your free player of the week spin, and the European is ongoing from last week. So that is the events. The eFootball League is still where it's at. Um, people were asking as well about the match pass. The match pass at the moment, it's going to be the next pass um, that is going to be the half price one. So it's not going to be this match pass. It's going to be the next match pass is going to be 50% off. That's probably because there's going to be good rewards and the value in the premium one that will give everyone a chance to get it. In, in terms of anything else, lads, you do have new objectives with the 750 million campaign which is its own dedicated objectives here. You have it here, so you've got a couple there that you get a free European club one. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, it is what it is, lads. At the end of the day, man, you know what you're getting now. We know what we're getting with our login. Our daily game is still ongoing. All of that stuff is there. We do have Lewandowski, of course, as our free player, and we also have our Inter Milan free player as well. So we get Lewandowski there. I mean, Lewandowski is not going to change the dial too much for you. Uh, he's on D rating, which is a bit of a strange one this week, but we'll get into that and we'll do a review on him as well as the other players. We also have the daily game. We can continue on with the daily game. I think they need to refresh the daily game. I don't want to see the daily game uh, as a penalty in eFootball 2025. I mean, I know it's grand. It takes literally 30 seconds to clear it, but I, I just feel like you need to have a constant rotation of new mini games, whether it's, you know, corners, scoring headers and volleys, penalties, free kicks something just to switch it up a little bit and of course we also have our inter milan deal there as well our victory campaign as well so everything that you see here uh, will be for everybody in here and then we also have our new uh, players one thing that i was talking about yesterday was whether or not they would add a new player to the points shop um but they do have a sale on the eFootball coins and they also have with the players here nobody but they've added a new kit so usually they add new players but they've added a new kit which is the eFootball x new kit that you see here that is available for 5000 eFootball points and then of course we also have on top of that we have our eFootball coin sale so there's a sale on here now is the time to buy coins if you do buy coins and you are into buying coins um it's only on these three here so it's only on these 3450 coins normally that is 29.99 euro for 3300 coins whereas this one at the moment is 20 so it's a tenner saved and then the rest of them you can only buy these once i don't know why they're not doing the big bad buy one i mean for half price i think a lot of people would jump in it but you know let's see um and then also on top of that as well with the packs that we have here these are still ongoing but we have a new 100 pack 100 coin pack black nor eFootball origin kit which you can see here is pretty decent and again this is kind of where they're going to go i think with stuff in the future modeled by eric cantona I mean, it's a nice kit. I mean, is it worth 100, 100 coins? That's more like where it should be. You know, 100 coins is definitely where it should be. Um, I don't think it should be any more than that ever for coins. And then you have the rest of the packs here. And then also, of course, it's all about the players, man. That's a lot of stuff to cover. I mean, some of that stuff will be interesting to you. Some of it won't be bothered. You won't be bothered with. Um, but we do have the new player packs, right? So we've got the J-League monthly packs here. We also have the Messi packs. So this Messi pack is in a box of 150 and it includes all the players. These are re-releases. So these players have been out before. Hence why you've got Alvarez back, you've got Busquets back, you've got Fernandez back, you've got Emi Martinez, you've got your three Messies, which we'll do a review on. We've already done a review on them from way back when, but we'll do an updated with gameplay review of those and build, and we'll also be live streaming with them. And of course, we have our Worldwide Player of the Weeks, our European Club Player of the Weeks, and our free Inter Milan so these players here, we will do a full review on them. We'll be live streaming as well later. We will take a look at those players. They are the players there. It doesn't look like a great player of the week selection, to be honest with you. It looks quite de it looks quite poor. Trossard obviously will probably be the pick of them in Etze. Um, and on for the European ones, we do have this one here, uh, which is going to be a bit better. Gavardil is there, Hakimi's there, Dembele. There's probably about six players in here that you could actually improve your squad with. So we will do a full review on them as well. All those players will be on A rating. And then last but not least, boys, we do have the Inter Milan. So there's five players in this. You will get three spins of the five. So you will get any of the five, any of the three of the five, I think, unless they change it with the campaigns and the logins. So obviously, Borella is probably going to be the best one to get. We will spin for that. And that is going to be a free one. And then you can earn more and you get one on the login as well. But yeah, Borella is who we want to get. And that's who we do get, man. So we're going to test him out today and see his best build. 
I will see you guys later in the live stream. Let me know what you guys think of today's update and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.